I think it is a clear sign of the times and a good thing that these days in the hobby of, of uh, hobby games we have high-end game accessories that are being published and that appeal to the game culture. It shows that many of us playing games as their hobbies are adults and we have some money that we can spend in our hobby, maybe not as much time as we would like to, and so we want that time to really count. And so we are willing uh, to buy the pretty things. And to me that's perfectly fine. Again, to me that is a good thing. It shows that uh, that people really care about their hobby. So, with these considerations in mind, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, two uh, fairly high-end accessories for hobby components, for game components, the Games Layer 600 and the Cards Layer 600 by Gamegenic. So, let's start with the card, uh, with the Cards Layer. Uh, you don't see you don't need to see me getting the thing out of the box I wanted to make an unboxing video, but I always fumble with these things and they end up being ridiculous In any case, you don't want to see the box of the box You want to see the box because of course that is precisely what the games layer 500 is it promises to hold up to 400 sleeved cards uh, Which is great for me because I don't sleep my cards. That's gonna be about a million that I can fit in here it has a uh, magnetic uh, cover that snaps onto the things, but not just that. For extra security, you see there are these little grooves here and the corresponding latches that go in there. So that fits it more securely if you only had a magnet and two smooth surfaces in between, which is really important because you bought this fancy thing and then the thing flies open and all of your cards are in the air and you're there crying and it's just a very sad scene for everybody. But you don't have to suffer that indignity because this feels fairly, uh, more than fairly, it feels really, really secure. And so here we have the box itself. And I, I should point out, even just by looking at it, you probably know that it feels good. There is a, definitely a strong tactile feel. And especially if you just leave your cards, you've already deprived yourself of the tactile pleasure of the texture of the cards, at least you have this thing here to remind you that there is a significant difference <laughs> between playing video games and playing games in the real world. So here we have the main section that you will use to, to place your cards and it's tall enough that you can also place dividers in there. Uh, two uh, pockets or two sections here for oversized cards and maybe a notepad, maybe a pen or a pencil in there. A little tray here, again for other components such as, you know, if you play Magic the Gathering, then you have those spinners, life counters, uh, other games, dice, uh, amulets, uh, anything that, that they may needed really. And then here, whoa, the secret compartments with two little drawers for more. Uh, more things, things that you really want to keep uh, separate that special Planeswalker card or whatever other things. And you can see by pulling them you can open them this way. They also, no, they don't open this way. Uh, oops, <laughs> the camera almost fell. See, the excitement was too intense. So, there you go. We got these little trays here and they come out nicely and easily. The first one takes a little more, the, the one on top takes a little more wiggling, but it's probably just a matter of time after I get it in and out a couple of times. And again, it doesn't, it's not a problem to pull it out. It just fits a little tighter than the other. And so really for all your needs of card storage for, you know, that special set from probably thousands of cards that you have from your favorite games, uh, the ones that you want to bring to that specific event, your favorite ones. So this is definitely a nice, a nice item to have. One that I would love to use, but I don't think it's going to work that way, because since my daughter Amelia saw me, so this in the house, she has been circling me like a vulture, saying, do you really need that? And I'm like, yes. But do you really, really need that? Sure. 
but you really 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 okay I get it I get it and so I think this is gonna be sacrificed to the altar of Pikachu and all of those Pokemon cards that she uh, collects avidly it's gonna be nice to see her <laughs> enjoy it and maybe I'll buy one for myself now as for the games layer 600 it is a similar idea similar material again very strong very nice tactile feel uh, it's sort of like a transformer for game components. This box is all sort of like compartments and secret things and secret doors. The cover also can be removed. The cover also is magnetic and the cover also has the same latches that you saw with the games layer. With the difference though that here the cover also turns into a dice tray, which is a really nice touch. Uh, you kind of have to put all four corners up at the same time though so maybe you need a friend to help you well once you get them all up they do they do stay and that's and that's how you can turn the cover of the of the layer the games layer into a dice tray so that's very nice little logo there again why so I always like having a, a dice tray uh, that just comes out of nowhere magically. Again, I told you it's like a transformer thingy. So here we have a section that you can still use to hold the cards. And I think you can probably hold, if you put two lines here, almost as many. Not quite, but almost as many as this thing. Well, let's see, twice that one. Yeah, it looks like it may fit. Uh, maybe it fits even more. I don't know. But definitely you have... Um, that option there to fit two lines of cards standing up you have a divider and depending on how you move it you can also turn this into something different this one for larger components and then you have a thinner divider here that can be used for smaller components maybe a bunch of cards but this time facing uh, this way instead of this way there you go so you can move that transparent divider there but I think I like it in the middle because uh, it's more aesthetically pleasing that way we have a tray here for game components. You can see you have two symbols there, one for dice and one for cards there to indicate uh, what is suggested. Again, the same symbol is there to indicate what is suggested you can place in these other, booyah, these other drawers here. This is really like more than meets the eye, uh, the transformers of game stores. So we trace the, the these ones recommended for cards and just like the ones of the of the cards layer with an opening section in the front and the other side is very similar is the one that is recommended for dice there you go and this one the front doesn't move so that your dice I guess don't roll around everywhere of course you can put anything you want in there it's it's your it's your it's your game put game components pawns spars uh your snacks i mean this section is perfect for you know buffaloes chicken wings and here you have the section you put the ranch in here the ketchup in here it's it's your it's your thing you can do whatever you want with it and that's i think that's beautiful Definitely, again, high quality. It looks sturdy, very sturdy, and the tactile element, which again, to me, is very, very important when we play games in the real world. It looks nice. It's well designed. It's meant to be pleasant. Sometimes you're probably just going to sit there and just look at the technology. Wow. It looks great. What can I say? Uh, I am a bit of a sucker for this kind of components, for this kind of... Uh, of upgrades uh i think it looks great i'm really happy that i have this in my collection the only problem which is a good one to have of course is now like uh, which which game which game or games are going to receive that the treatment and then i'm going to start wanting to buy a bunch of these one for and not for every game maybe but, but you know what i mean you know what i mean and again uh probably given my inclination and my passion for magic the gathering it's probably gonna be a lot of magic the gathering stuff since again the the game the card layer has been has been spoken for uh, by my daughter Amelia and her Pokemon collection. So Game Jenny here has given us two really solid, two really nice 
uh, accessories that I think uh, a lot of collectors will be happy to have in their in their collection the games layer and the cards layer both very nice pleasant well designed and really I can't wait to start using them because they're just so nice <laughs> 